Hi friends, it's Terry from Mackenzie Cole. Come on in my design studio, sit down, get comfortable and hang out while we make a Easter mailbox bow. So I'm gonna show you what I'm using today. I chose a pink palette. So I have this gorgeous, this is called a big dot. This is just a solid pink. Your solids are great for your projects. That led me to bring in this pink and green and white. This is a cabana stripe. I love a good cabana stripe in all different colors. I'm here for it all the time. I'm always here for a good solid. It's a great thing to have. Can't go wrong with a cabana stripe. And then I'm bringing in this bunny rabbit with the carrot, and this gives us our true Easter theme. It's a neutral, so it goes with this just fine. And I have 50 yards of it. So, we need to use it. I don't wanna waste it, right? For a mailbox bow, I like these extra long chenille stems that Deco Exchange designed and sells. I'm gonna link this below. I'm going to link my spool holder below and I'm going to link my easy bow below. And we're going to get started. Now I start with my two and a half. I knocked my pen holder off of my workstation again. She just gets knocked over into the abyss non-stop. She gone. Man down. Okay. I'm going to give this a dovetail. I hate leaving pins out like that because I don't trust myself. So I'm going to have to put all my ribbon back as we go so I don't hurt myself. Okay. My desk is dirty because I made that tulip wreath. How many of you saw the tulip wreath? All right. I'm going to give myself a 12 inch tail. I'm just going to pinch that and let that hang. I'm pulling this off. I'm ripping this off because I want to be aware of how much I have now that I'm getting down. I'm twisting it and I'm putting that into my easy bow. For a mailbox bow, I'm going to give myself a 7 inch loop. If you are someone that has never decorated your mailbox before, you're missing out. It will make you so happy when you get home. If you're like me, um, we live in a neighborhood where everyone walks, so everyone sees our mailbox. And then because I live on a cul-de-sac, I, I uh, decorate one side of my mailbox instead of putting this on the front top in the back, I put this on one side because most of the traffic is going that way to go home. We don't have through traffic. So, I'm put, pulling that down and giving that a dovetail. This ribbon just makes you happy. It just does. Let's put our pin back in here so I don't hurt myself. Because that is not on my bingo card for today. All right. Look how happy she is. We did three loops in the back. Six and a half wide. That is some good ribbon. Mm, mm, mm. Makes me happy. Now, I'm going to come in with my plain solid pink. Add a dovetail. This is also going to have three loops. I'm going to make that tail just slightly shorter than the front. This loop is going to be slightly smaller than the loop before it. Not much. 
my goal when I make mailbox bows, I'm not trying to make a small bow. That's not the goal. I'm trying to make a, a bow that is large and in charge and will be seen. That's the whole point. Now I'm just bringing it down to make my other tail. Giving that a dovetail. I'll know how to dovetail at this point. And we're gonna put our pin back in. As we go. I, okay, so I'm coming in at this point with my third ribbon is going to be that bunny. So cute. So the bunny is directional. I thought it was going in lots of different directions, but it's not. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my tail, put that in there, cut my tail. Sometimes with directional ribbon, I don't even worry about it. It's just so obvious with this bunny that I'm going to uh, go ahead and fix it correctly. Now I want this loop to be slightly smaller than that loop. And then I'm gonna twist, and I can tell I've already put that on the wrong side. This goes over here, get my loop going now. And that's the great thing about an easy bow. You can, if you make this entire bow and decide you hate this ribbon, then you pull that stack off, you pull this out, use it in a different bow. You're not committed until you put this bow together at the end. You can fix things, change things. I don't, um, but you can if you ever are in that situation. I generally like what I've picked out. We're doing three loops. This is gonna be big. You do not twist that last one and then your rabbits come down and they're facing the right direction as well. And they're eating little carrots, they're on the ground, they're just sitting up, they're adorable. And you know I'm not a neutral girl. That's why I'm adding in all of these punches of color because the neutral is gorgeous, but for me, we love color around here. So we're gonna spice it up. If you don't mind, please share this video. That helps me continue to make free content for you all. And I appreciate it. Look at this stack. Look at that stack. That's a stack. Woo. All right, I'm gonna dovetail. Let's get our measure, but we need to measure up here, Terry. Come on, girl. I've had my coffee, so I should be good. I'm finishing up with this cabana stripe because I want to pull that pink thing back up to the top again. And I'm literally just going to give it one loop on either side. And that's it. It doesn't need any more than that. It doesn't call for any more than that. All this ribbon is doing for me is drawing the pink up to the front from the back of the design after I added in my rabbits. And now, the reason I use these extra long chenille stems for my mailbox bows is because, and if I don't have these in stock, I make, I sit here and make extra long ones, which is, slows you down and it's kind of irritating is because you want your customer to take this out of the box and be able to put it directly on their mailbox. You don't want their chenille stem to be too short. You don't want them to have an extra added step. 
and as it is, that's all they get. So, with the extra long, they get seven inches to um, apply that to their mailbox. Now, I'm putting my pin back in here. I want to tie this off for me. Hold on, please. Okay. I want to tie this off with my bunnies because I want to pull the bunnies back up to the front. Just in that center. Just so ends up there's just a bunny sitting right there in the center. Love that. I'm opening up my chenille stems. I'm tying it off. Now, if you purchased my pricing worksheet, you could have had your worksheet out for the first bow you're making, do your pricing worksheet, and then you're done, and you can just make as many of these as you need for your shop, and you know exactly where you stand. I'm actually going to link that below, too. People are loving it. So, I'm going to link all the helpful things below in case you need them. I am pulling apart each of these different designs and colors. And then I'm going to put this up where you can see it. This is such a pretty bow. I'm loving it. Let's get our tails going in the right direction and make them behave. And then I'm going to put this up on my stand and let you um, check it out. This is a gorgeous mailbox bow. It will be in the shop. I will also link my shop below in case you actually need this mailbox bow. Pops of pink, which are hot, hot, hot this year. Pink is trending, but it's always been a big Easter color because it makes you think of the little bunnies feet and ears and it's just a popular um, Easter color anyway and then you've got your little bunnies in there eating carrots you've got your bunny right in the center of your bow it's super cute it's large enough for your mailbox I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my wreath stand and I'll pull you girls up in just a moment so I don't have to do an additional video you can just see it right now all right I'm gonna turn it towards me and fluff it and then you girls and guys whoever's here um, can see it here at the end of this video and we won't have to do a video on the wall so now that I have it up here, I just want to really get this the way I want it. All right, so for me, I think I'm gonna close my blind so you can see her better. And I might even prop up the background. help as well. All right, ready? I'm going to pull you up, so close your eyes. I'm trying to figure out which one to tighten so you girls will stay up here. Hold on. Ooh, okay. There she is. She's beautiful. What do you think? Please share this video. If you're new to my page, make sure you go to the top and follow. She's gorgeous, and she will be in the shop. 
I will probably have um, at least three of these in the shop. All right, let's see if I can bring her closer to you without you losing her. See how pretty she is? And just imagine her on your mailbox. That's it for today, you guys. We made a mailbox bow. We used our easy bow maker. We used our spool holder. We used these extra long chenille stems from Deco Exchange, which are amazing. If you have not used these yet, you're missing out. And um, as far as ribbons go, you just need to search through vendors and find the ribbons that you love. Um, I do save my list of vendors for my private group. That is one of their perks. So, I can share all my tools, all the things, but as far as these ribbons go, just go out and search the different vendors and see what you can find. If you're in my group and you want to know exactly where they came from, just ask inside the group and I can list them all to the best of my ability. Some of them have been in my stash, okay? Look, shop your stash, girls. Shop your stash. This has been in my stash, this big dot, and it's gorgeous. As always, this is not goodbye. It's I'll see you later.